um, I'll, what I'll be doing this time is I'm just going to show you how to uh, create HTML file using um, text, uh, simple text file. So basically what I'll be doing is I'm just going to change the file extension. Now you can also uh, do this one if you wanted to uh, if you wanted to create a PHP file. So you no longer have to go uh, use a text editor, file, save as, and so on, which is uh, a lot longer or the process is a lot longer than what I'll be showing you. So this is just a, a simple um, uh, and, and a lot faster method than using a text uh, editor or text uh, or, or text editor such as Notepad++. Okay. So, okay, so I'm now in my window. This is actually my window. This is uh, where I'll be uh, adding my uh, HTML file. Uh, later, I'll also, also be showing you how to uh, create a PHP file. But for the meantime, I'll just be showing you how to create an HTML file. So this is where I will be placing my HTML file. So I have, the, by the way, I'm using Windows 10. So um, I'm going to click View. <laughs> then notice here we have here um, item checkbox, item uh, file name extensions, and hidden items. So I have to make sure that I have this one checked. So file name extension. So if you're using Windows 7, uh, it would have the a different process uh, to be honest i already forgot where it's located actually in windows 7 but it would still be under view okay so as long as you can locate this particular uh, option just uh, make sure that you have uh, a, a, a check box on this uh, particular option so you have your file name extensions okay next so let's try to create a, a file a text file this time so i'm going to right click here then new then um, text document so notice by the way that i already have here created a text document now just take a look at my file extension it's dot text meaning i can edit this particular file using a note using um, software such as notepad or notepad plus plus okay just to name a few now what i'll be doing um is i'm going to right click then uh, rename okay so uh, i won't be dealing with the file name this time so this is the file name up until before the period this is the file extension okay so what i'll be doing is i'm just going to change the file extension okay now if the checkbox is not checked then i cannot see the file extension so there's no way for me to edit or change this particular file so that's why i need to have this particular option file name extensions check so i'm going to right click again uh, rename okay dealing with the file extension then change it to the dot html dot htm or um dot php uh, later i'll be showing you also how to uh, uh, create a dot php file using the same method now i already have here created a new text document now let's say for example you wanted to change the the file name okay again i'm going just going to right click on the file rename then uh, let's say index dot html okay so this is how to create a a file name now by the way, I have this one, uh, Opera, uh, since, uh, as you've noticed, you have here Opera Web Document, since uh, by default, Opera is my uh, web browser. Now, let's say, for example, you wanted to create a .css or .php file. Again, I'm going to right-click, uh, New, then Text Document, okay? So, I'm going to, let's say, styles.css. Okay, so this one becomes a CSS file. I can now uh, do some changes. Let's say get it with Notepad++, then um, body and whatever uh, properties I wanted to uh, add here. Now, if you wanted to create a .php file, same process. Okay, file, uh, right click, then you have here new text document. Then let's say um, link. 01.php okay but before i forget um you will be prompt okay rename if you want if you change a, a file name extension the file might become unusable are you sure you want to change it just uh, select yes okay so this one is already uh, actually it also th that particular um warning also came up uh, when I, I ed, edit, added uh, or edited the file extension to .html, um, same also with uh, .css and also same with .php. Okay, so if you wanted to hide again, just uh, right-click here, file name extensions, and the 
uh, file extension will be hidden once more. But uh, in my case, uh, by default, I would normally have uh, file name extensions uh, checked so that I can see what file, so that it, uh, I can see what file extension I, I am editing. At the same time, also, it's, it's easier for me to work with the file name extension visible. If you find the contents of this blog useful or interesting, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time a new video is uploaded, don't forget to hit the bell notification button. Thanks.